When we left you last week, we were crawling off our storm-battered ferry into the historic medieval city of Rhodes, Greece. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Check out our hotel in Rhodes, Greece. That's this great kitchen. And she said we can drink the water. Really high on my list. Blah. Whoops. Two blankets. It has an enormous living room. Two bathrobes. Both for me because they never fit Chris. Oh, it's a pillow top. Oh, I'm taking you okay? it. No, I'm not. That figure I was rough on you, wasn't it? was rough it in this bed. It's gonna make me cry. It's not like you're about to die. In fairness, that was a pretty rough ferry ride. Oh. Well, yeah, both got a little bit seasick, so. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared, dude. Very nice to be in an apartment, but she's left out. Huge balcony and a place to drink our coffee in the morning. How much do I have for the muffin and latte? Oh, no, that's on the house, courtesy of Joey Tribbiani. Check out the pool, which is where we will be in just a few minutes. Yahoo! <laughs> the ice cubes! Four pomegranates. It's a family rest Greek restaurant in Rhodes. But you really know we're here, so <laughs> I didn't need to add that part. Look at this. It's really warm. But look at that cheese. Light and fluffy with the cheese in it. This is fantastic. It's like all this. Bread's gone already. This is their dish. It's a bread bowl and it has a meat and sausage. For some reason, because of the way it looked, I thought it was gonna be um, like a little sweet. It's not. It has a um, very rich tomato base with uh, sausage and peppers. It's really good. Now I'm gonna try the masaka. She said it's gonna be really, really hot. Like, this is amazing. Who doesn't love meat and potatoes? This is very comforting. Potatoes are creamy. It's uh, not spicy. It all blends really well. It's very subtle. I like it. It's still too hot. <laughs> this is the best moussaka I've ever had in my life. It is amazing. There's mushrooms and meat. And cheese and some bread. It's just all blended in perfectly with the potatoes. It is one of the best things I've had to eat in recent memory. Once it hits your lips, it's so good. And we have had a lot of good food in recent memory, so I'm gonna go back to eating this. <laughs> Give me my phone back. I think brought this dessert. Bergamot cake? It's a loving cake. Huh. Grandma, mm -hmm. not as good as yours. And this is called something with the spoon. They make it out of- Fruits, flowers, anything, whatever they have. It's a traditional dessert. Oh, it's a cinnamon, and I would say it tastes just like Christmas. Don't mothball that suit. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. We're definitely coming back to this yeah, place. Yeah, definitely. We're headed off to explore roads, but first I have to show you this amazing view. And over there you can see Turkey. The hotel has a nice breakfast included. Unfortunately, we're here during a windstorm, but hopefully our audio turns out at least somewhat. If not, we'll just voice over. We're gonna start this uh, tour in Old Town. These walls behind me are four kilometers or 2.5 miles long. They are a beautiful example of Gothic architecture. The city of old, Jesus, <laughs> before that, the city of Rhodes is really old. It was founded in about 600 BC, somewhere around in there. According to this, we are here. If you check Instagram, you're gonna see a lot of pictures of this place. UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's for the largest, best preserved fortification in all of Europe. It's not even high season yet, and you can already tell how busy it's getting. But yesterday, when we first got here, there was a cruise ship in port, and it was I have to say, this is the one of the fortifications that I would be in, that I would live, because they have lots of open space. Usually it's a little claustrophobic. 
way here as soon as we got off the boat. First hour in Greece and I have to get a club just for you, Luke. Wow. This looks amazing. See the bread. That's really good. It was actually really good. the Archaeological Museum of Rhodes and it's six year old to get in but there's so many beautiful things to see that are free. We may do it later but right now we're just gonna walk around and see everything else. This is the Knight's Walk and it's really interesting because they had lots of inns around here and they all were called the tongue of like England so you knew if you went into that inn they spoke English. Who is it? It is King Arthur. Or they tongue of France that in they spoke French. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. I thought that was pretty fascinating. Cruising up the night's walk. We need a horse. <laughs> Definitely need a horse. Rhodes was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988 as a unique example of a particular medieval architectural style of the period of the Crusades that combines Byzantine, French, and Spanish influences. What's this, Kate? I was wrong. That is not. This is the Knight Street. <laughs> so what I said before, it pertains to this street. Spanish Knight's in. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna have to read this one. Behind me is the Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights, the first castle built by the Knights in 1856. Oh, sorry. I kind of <laughs> skipped something here. Wait, I have it here. I thought I wrote it down. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's start this process again. Two snaps and a rewind. The Knights of St. John's arrived on the island in 1309 and they built this impressive citadel. The Grand Palace, which is the one behind me, was one of the most amazing because it had all the furniture and everything was absolutely beautiful on the inside, but it was destroyed when the ammunition, uh, somehow, it exploded. This is exactly what happened. Get put it in the shoe. Oh. In 1856, so all the furniture, there's only a couple pieces left, and they said the furniture was magnificent. Ta-da! <laughs> all these are little tiny, tiny purple flowers. It's absolutely beautiful. So you can go in for eight euros, but they have a deal where you pay 10 euros and you can go to the archeological museum, this place, there's four places you can go. So that, if you have the time, would be so much better price. Right now we're, we're having fun exploring the outside, so. This mosque was built when the Turkish occupied roads. I love how every time somebody else or a different country occupies this place, they build a little different. So they've got pieces of all sorts of different cultures. You can go up to the top of the clock tower, but it does cost. I tried to find online, but I couldn't find it. It cost five euros, one drink from the bar for free with your ticket. That's us done with Old Town. Now we're going to head to Colossus. <laughs> it used to be a big, huge statue of Helios, the um, sun god. This is a fortress that they turned into a lighthouse. And back here is where the Colossus was. Well, that wouldn't suck. So can you imagine a big, huge statue, all of bronze, and the, the ships would go in and out of his legs, kind of like what you saw in Game of Thrones on Bravos. That would have been spectacular. It would be fun to actually see that now. It was all made of bronze. There was an earthquake and it destroyed it. And in its place, 
they put two little statues of deer, which is the symbol of Rhodes. Let me just tell you something else, but <laughs> the beautiful Megan is uh, blocking it. On the other side is the town hall, and that was built by the Italians when they got here. It's absolutely beautiful. Really? Yeah. You stole Louis's word. Oh, yes. Sorry, Louis. Although Louis would say, beautiful. <laughs> It's for you, buddy. <laughs> One of the ladies that we were talking to yesterday who lives here, she says it never is not windy. Consider that before you buy your uh, your retirement home here. Yeah. But it is absolutely a gorgeous place. I think we're gonna try and head over to the other side of the island. Well, let's fast forward there. Okay. I just realized that we did a little video at the end of our the last clip that said, oh yeah, we're gonna go do something and maybe eat. Um, yeah, we, we didn't. didn't. Right now it's really windy and it's a little cold. It's a little too cold to be frolicking in the beautiful water. So we just enjoyed a well, little time, a restaurant relaxation. It's quite a, quite a voice you got going on there. Yeah, I got something going on. That's also why <laughs> we didn't do much. Oh, we shouldn't sleep with the air conditioning on in the last place. Oh yeah, but, that uh, was awful. I loved Rhodes. It, the medieval town was absolutely beautiful. It was really well preserved. Yeah, very well preserved. The people are nice. Just so much to see. Well, now where are we off to? We are off to the ferry pier. Oh, by the way, it is three in the morning. <laughs> we have gotten up because we are taking a ferry to Crete. So we're gonna go get off to that. Thankfully, we have a private room on the ferry. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll be riding in comfort. See you next week. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>